Hi, and welcome to another SEO Hangout with Josh Brzezinski. That would be myself. Uh, and today is SEO Miss. Da, 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 da. Today is SEO Miss. That's right. It is a strange holiday. It comes and goes. It might skip a week. Who knows? But this is today is SEO Miss. I know that for sure. Trust me, I made it up. So I know for sure today is SEO Miss. And uh, today I give you the final crazy SEO Miss, free SEO Miss gift. It has to do with Penguin. It has to do with fixing it, and uh, you will be amazed and astounded uh, at today's gift. Not only that, however, I also have an amazing, incredible um, SEO miss gift in terms of Panda. Exactly how it works, there was a monster Google leak, probably the monster of all Google's leaks, quite frankly, to tell you the truth. And today I'm releasing it on SEO miss. So uh, let's get right to it uh, so uh, you can get back to all your other holiday uh, shenanigans that might be going on. Okay, so it is SEO miss, as I said. So back on December 2nd, so I'll, I'll talk about the Panda Leak first, the crazy Panda Leaks, and then I will get to my free SEO miss gift at the end of the, uh, uh, the at the end of the Hangout or slash rant. And it's crazy, you, you won't believe either of these. Okay, so the first one, on December 2nd, John Mueller just did some crazy Panda Leaks uh, he had some major leaks on how Panda works. Now he's been leaking here and there how Panda works and I've kind of put together with my experiments how Panda works and what's going on. But John Mueller had a crazy leak about, not about Buka, which is made in SoCal by the way. Uh, but I buy it up here in Victoria. Uh, no, he made a crazy leak about uh, how Panda works and he went into some great detail because some person was yammering on to him and he felt sorry for them and so he, and that's what he always does, he feels sorry for these people and he leads out maybe a little too much than he should. And he went from Google, please don't fire John Mueller, he's, he's wonderful. He helps uh, webmasters and he actually cares. That's why he's wonderful because he is a Google employee who actually seems to care. That's why he's wonderful, he deserves a raise. Okay, so here's what the leaks, crazy leaks and, and how Panda works, and you're not going to believe this. Okay, so here's the story. And this is the December 2nd hangout. You can go watch yourself if you think I'm lying to you. On December 2nd, uh, some guy got hacked, and he went on to the hangout, and he said that the hackers made an extra 45,000 extra pages on his site. Uh, and I think the implication was that they were selling pharmaceuticals. I'm not really sure. And he then he got hit. Uh, on what looked like a panda date from because everyone else was complaining it was in the middle of the month like the November or December in the middle of the month November in the middle of the month everyone was claiming about a panda hit and so he thought panda got him and this was John Mueller's response John Mueller said it's likely not a panda hit unless and I quote check the server logs to see if those pages were crawled right before the penalty hit you and and I quote again if they have words not related to your site in them, that is to say, in the URL parameters or in the pages themselves. I repeat, this is a quote from John Mueller. In response to a fellow who thought he was hit by Panda because some guy hacked his site, John Mueller said this. Check the server logs. It's probably not Panda unless check your server logs to see if those pages were crawled right before the penalty hit you. Implication is if it did, therefore it was probably Panda. And then a lot of implications come from that, which I'll cover in a second. And the second thing he said, also check to see if there was words not related to your site in the pages that the hackers supposedly made, both in the URL parameters, but also in the page as well. This implies, this confirms a lot of suspicions. This confirms a lot of things that I've been saying and other people have been saying, and I suspected. He kind of hinted at earlier on over the last year. Uh, but now he's gone out and ver like verbatim directly said it. And this very strongly implies a couple of things. Three things, in fact. One, this implies that Panda has to crawl the pages to find the issues. I've always suspected that Panda was triggered by bad usage metrics. For the most part, when people go to a SERP, they click on it. They click on your result. They go to your page. If they don't like what they find, for whatever reason, they don't like your content, or they don't like your presentation, or they don't like the speed in which it comes down, they don't like user interface, it's too confusing, too convoluted, too many ads, whatever it is, they click back, they go back to Google, and they click another result. I have experiments to show this is bad. In fact, I have a service to improve this for you if you want to get the service to improve it, uh, both in a white hat and, and possibly a black hat, black hat way, but uh, mostly a white hat way. Um, and I, I've long suspected this triggers Panda, 
And then Panda will 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 uh, say, okay, well, these are the pages that have bad usage metrics. Why are users bouncing from these pages? And then they will go and do a deeper crawl, a deeper check in Panda to see why. And if they find garbage pages or if they find uh, all other kind of mentions, things, and, and he actually leaked exactly what Panda will look for when it goes, goes and does this crawl. So I'll mention that in a second. So I've always suspected that's the way it works, and now John Mueller has more or less confirmed it. Two, by what John Mueller has said, it also implies that you have to watch out for your URL parameters, and keyword stuffing is part of Panda. So people, most people, except for Dan Thies and Leslie Rhodes, they always thought that keyword stuffing was part of Panda, and most people scoffed at them. But now it looks like they may actually be right. So I don't know if Dan Thies or Leslie Rhodes, A, knows who I am, or B, watches my Hangouts. But hey, good on you guys, because it looks like your uh, Google contacts informed you earlier. Uh, or you made a good educated guess that keyword stuffing does seem to be part of Panda, although most people thought it was probably part of Penguin because of the examples that Matt Cutts showed and all the examples of the sites that get hits. It, keyword stuffing could be part of both, quite frankly, because it is a good general spamminess metric. But it looks like keyword stuffing is part of Panda, and it looks like Google has to crawl those pages to find out. And this also makes sense as well, because I do a lot of uh, SEO analyses. By the way, if you need an SEO analysis on your site, if you want to fix Penguin or Panda, especially Penguin, as I'm about to mention at the end of this hangout, uh, or anything else, any other SEO problems for that matter. By the way, you can contact me uh, at my email is joshpashinsky at gmail.com. You can also follow me at Twitter at joshpashinsky. And you can watch more videos like this, these crazy leaks and SEO information, and other uh, great videos with the SEO experiments and SEO leaks at youtube.com slash jbashins. J-B-A-C-H-Y-S. Okay, I had to say that before I forget. Because I sometimes forget. Okay. So this strongly implies that also that uh, keyword stuffing is part of Panda, both in the URL parameters and also in the text. So if you have a bunch of, uh, like you have a search utility on your, on your site, and it makes a bunch of garbage pages like this stuffed with keywords, make sure you rail canonical them to, to uh, canonical versions of the pages or good versions of these pages. No index them if they don't need to rank. Robot them out if they don't need to rank. Or serve a 404 instead for these uh, keyword stuffed spammy pages. Finally, three, this also very strongly implies that negative SEO is possible if you can make a website respond 200 on any spammy URL parameter. And this, again, has been a rumor that's been going on for a long time. I can now confirm it directly from Google that, yes, this is a problem, because this is what this guy thought happened. Um, so what does that mean? Well, this is what it means. Um, very quickly, um, a web server, of course, will respond with a code, uh, a status. And it was called an HTTP uh, status. Um, uh, and also serve up some text or some video or some content when somebody makes a request to a web server. So a respond of 404 means page uh, gone. A respond of 301 means page moved permanently. A respond of 302 means page moved temporarily. A respond of 500 level means a server error, etc., etc. You've heard of these before. That's what it is. Now, it, that's totally irregardless of what the web server serves as content. It could, it could serve a 404 error, but then serve the proper content. And so... Google has to make a determination if it's a true 404 or not, or if it's a soft 404, whatever it is. So anyway, the point is this, is that if your target competitor you want to do a negative SEO on, uh, or for you not to be hit yourself, uh, if the server serves 200 for any URL parameter, some web servers are conf configured that no matter what they type in, example.com slash question mark, um, blah, 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 whatever, they can type in whatever. If the server serves 200 on that, then you can make thousands and thousands and thousands of links out there with uh, just spammy, you know, herbal Viagra, buy Viagra, buy Canadian pharmaceutical, you know, casino porn, child porn, whatever. Whatever terrible keywords you want uh, that is on their topic or not. And you can make their web server uh, respond to it when Google crawls those links and goes to that site and now starts to think that site is either hacked or that site is about those, con those, those pages or those kinds of things. So that could be a viable negative SEO uh, tactic if this is the way that uh, Google's algorithms are working. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't have your web server respond 200 on any given request. 301 it to a, a, an appropriate page, or let it 404 if it is a page that does not exist and never did exist. So if it never existed, then you're not losing any link juice, and you're not internal or external, or you're not, you're not robbing yourself of a ranking page. OK. That was the first major Panda leak, and uh, if you want more information about that, 
email me and I can explain it further or just rewind the video and watch it again. But there's more. There's a second crazy panda leak. John Mueller actually leaked more or less what panda looks at. Uh, this has never been leaked before. This has never been mentioned before by anybody and only people have, only only SEOs have speculated at it and they pretty much have all got it wrong. Except for me, of course. <laughs> because one, I'm conceited. And two, I've been paying attention. I've been paying attention to John Mueller ever since he started doing these hangouts. I've been watching them every week, boring my brains out for well over a year. Uh, two years now, probably. Two and a half years, I think it is, he's been doing it. Or one and a half years, at the very least. So there's more leaks. He actually leaked how Panda works. So there's essentially... Uh, uh, Three things that he, he mentioned um, as to how uh, it leaks, how it works, and then I come up with two hypotheses based on this uh, after, after this leak. So he said three things. One, he said, and I quote, Panda looks at more, someone asked him what Panda looks at and if, if the spammy links pointing to his page were a problem for Panda. And I was, not, I was paying half attention because I thought for sure he would say that links are not part of Panda. Everyone knows links are part of Penguin. But that's not what he said. He said, and I quote, Panda looks at more than just links to a page when determining quality. I repeat, he said, and I quote, Panda looks at more than just links when determining page quality. Bah! Poof, head exploded again. Okay, so this means that Panda does look at the links to a page when determining the page quality. It looks at the spamminess of the links, because that's what they're talking about. But then he said, also, by the way, just so you know, Panda also looks at, two, he said, I quote, social mentions for a page. And three, finally, how users navigate when landing on a page. So, I repeat, John Mueller has directly stated, point blank, that Panda looks, when it does a crawl on your page, it looks at three things. One, it looks at the spamminess of the links pointing to it. I don't know if it's internal or external he was talking about. They were talking about external links in the context of the discussion. So I assume he was referring to external links and the spamminess of those links pointing to a page. That's a good low quality signal. So I don't, uh, and Panda is their quality algorithm. So that would make perfect sense. Two, they look at social mentions. Social mentions uh, that your site, has, that, that page or that site has been mentioned on social before or uh, shared on social a lot by, by people, or that your social profiles have a lot of good interaction and you're in the website field, especially in Google+, you have a reciprocal, uh, reciprocal association set up. You can remember in Google+, you can add your website, say, recipro uh, say combine the ranking signals, and then in your Webmaster Tools, you confirm it, and then Google will combine the ranking signals for your Google+, social profile, and your website. So if you have those social mentions, that's a good indication that it's a good quality page because people are talking about it. And this is how social seems to help you rank these days. And that makes sense because social that I've been doing for my customers, when you have a site that's been bouncing up and down, John Mueller has already said that that's on borderline of quality. So you set up social for it and it stops bouncing up and down. It settles into a spot. That makes perfect sense because the quality algos see that people are now genuinely talking about it on social. This is a good quality signal, right? So that's a check mark in the quality column. The spammy links pointing to it was a check mark in the low quality column. Finally, John Mueller has directly point blank stated that how users, quote, and I quote, how users navigate when landing on the page. So the internal click through rate, um, their usage of it, the scrolling up and down if they're using Chrome, and or the bounce back to SERP uh, uh, rate. Remember, I've always speculated that one, that will trigger a pen review, and two, might be used as part of the pen review. You can go back and watch my videos to see how I called that over a year ago. John Mueller has pretty much directly stated, yes, this is how it works. So, I'll take a sip of VUCA for that one. So, he of course did not completely explain how Panda works, so I have two hypotheses very strong hypotheses now with a lot of experience and evidence, uh, both anecdotal from John Mueller, who directly knows how it works. He's a webmaster analyst. He has to know how it works. He has to diagnose whether they're working correctly, which he also explained to us. Not in this hangout, but in a, a, a lazy old hangout back in, back in summer. When someone uh, accused him of not knowing how it works, he got all upset. And he said, yes, I do. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to troubleshoot them for the engineers. That's why I, that's my job, he said. So he knows. Uh, so I have two hypotheses to exactly how Panda works. So uh, hypothesis one, 
Uh, Pander seems to be triggered by bad relative SERP bounce rate. Uh, so bounce back to SERP. Two, then they spider or crawl the pages that have this bad SERP bounce rate to check for A, spamminess of the keywords on page, including the URL string, including high search phrases. So it's over-optimized, keyword stuffed. B, uh, um, scammy, uh, uh, both on-page, spammy keywords on-page. B, spammy keywords pointing to an off-page. And C, social mentions. So that's how Panda works. So that's hypothesis one. That could be very well how you can interpret what was said. Or hypothesis two is to exactly how Panda works. Google processes every page they crawl for quality by one, checking the relative usage of, the, of this landing page in search. So again, the bounce back to SERP in search. And two, checking it for excessive, excessive search phrases or slash AKA keyword stuffing, both on page and for links pointing to it. And who knows, maybe some other factors like duplicate content they've mentioned is a trust factor or quality factor, garbage content, spun content. They've mentioned all those things are garbage or quality factors. And so those could be other things they check for check marks in the quality or non-quality uh, fields. Also, they've mentioned they like to have a video on page. Uh, you know, Eric Lantry has also mentioned that he's done lots of experiments into this, that, you know, quality page content and quality content is important. He has a couple other of his checklists. I'm not allowed to disclose them because when I heard them, I was under a non-disclosure agreement. And he also sells that in a book, so it would be rude for me to disclose them because uh, he makes money selling his book. But suffice to say that I mostly agree with most of what he says. I've mostly personally said most of what he says. And uh, I'm more than happy to, to explain this stuff to you guys if you just want to email me. Uh, if you just have a quick question, I'm happy to share it. So. But at the end of the day, those will all be our guesses, is my point, is that what John Mueller has leaked are not guesses at all. Those are his leaks. And so there's a few other, like, how do you have a video on the page? Do you have, you have a lot of text? Is it over 3,000 words? You know, everyone has these kind of anecdotal ideas of what would make a high-quality page. So those are my two hypotheses on, as to how a Panda works. I think it's hypothesis one. I think Panda seems to be triggered by a bad relative SERP bounce rate. It wouldn't make sense for them to process with Panda every single page in existence that would just be too many pages to, to check. No, they only check pages that look like they're bad, that people are bouncing from and clicking something else. That's an indication that people are dissatisfied with it, so they'll check out the reason why. And two, so they spider it, they crawl it to see what's going on, to see if it has any spammy keywords on page or off page, including the URL spring, string, if it has any social mentions, if it has any duplicate content on it or garbage content or spun content, uh, if it has a movie on it, if it has high quality outlinks. Remember, Google is a, a business run by, uh, by academics. And what do professors always want you to do? They want you to cite your sources. And so it's no surprise these PhDs want you to also cite your sources or cite your references or cite uh, high authority uh, pages as well. So that's a good strong indication. That's how Panda works. That's how I always suspected it works. That's how all the anecdotal evidence of all the websites I do analyses for, and I do a lot of SEO analyses, how they work and how we fix it. Um, so I knew it was something in there, and that is pretty much just nailed it exactly what it is. So that is a crazy Google leak. Mary SEO miss. It's a crazy SEO leak for yourself. And the question is, does this include exact match domains? The answer is yes. Back in September 27th, um, was it 2012? They released the EMD algo along with, with Panda. So uh, Panda and EMD algo were released on the same day. I suspect it's part of the same algorithm. So if you have an exact match domain, it doesn't mean that, that you can't have exact match domain uh, domains anymore. It doesn't mean you can't have EMD sites. What it does mean is you have to really tone down the spamminess. You have to tone down all the links pointing to it. You have to tone down all the keyword stuffing on it because you have a major keyword stuffing already in your EMD. It's like if you needed 10 points, if the Bayesian threshold, the Bayesian filter was like 10 points of, of, of keyword stuffing means the EMD Panda algo hits you and thinks you're low quality or over-optimized or doesn't want to trust you anymore. They use the word relevance, quality, and trust synonymously. Keep that in mind. When talking about Panda, they always use the word trust, relevance, and quality synonymously, as if, as if you could interchange those words and they mean the same thing in their head. So the EMD, say it already has like eight points in that one to 10 scale. So you can't, those two points over, you can't go those two points over. Because they want to make sure, because the EMD signal, um, exact match keywords in your URL still is a major ranking signal and you can still see EMD sites ranking in the spammy SERPs uh, but they've also over optimized on all their links pointing to them and all their links on the site 
and that's why they're getting hit. So it does include EMD, and this seems to be exactly how EMD algo, as far as I can tell, doesn't work any differently than this. This is already how Panda works, and EMDs already just have one, one strike against them, so to speak, when it comes to Panda determining if they're low quality from being over-optimized. So, um, and he was also asked the same day, does the author snippet affect Panda? The answer is no. He said, and I quote, there's no relation between the author and Panda. The author snippet is not being used as a quality metric so far. So that's one people speculated could be a quality metric. You can take that off the list for now. John Mueller has, if you believe him, has specifically said and that's not the case. So that's my uh, Google leaks for SEOmis. And as promised, here's my uh, uh, final SEOmis gift for you for 2013. And it is this. I have come across a way, a secret way, uh, to fix Penguin in two or three days. That's right. I'm not joking. I'm not lying. This is not bullcrap. I have found a way to fix Penguin within two or three days. Now, I've just discovered it now. So all the clients who have I've done an SEO analysis for who were hit by Penguin in the last two or three months, please email me, and I will gladly give you, if there's any time left in your contract, but there probably is, there's always like 10 or 20 minutes left on a contract, I will gladly give you this leak. I will gladly give you this information. You can try it on your site. And who knows, we might be able to get it back within two or three days. This has nothing to do with anybody else's offer. This is a secret that uh, I found out with another black hat person. Not to imply that I'm a black hat person, but I do fix a lot of black hat sites. And uh, I've, we found this out. In fact, I've known it for months, but I just didn't know it worked so well until we tweak one little thing. We're like, all of a sudden, oh, okay, we found the trick. So... Um, and for anybody else who wants to know this information, I would be happy to share it um, uh, for pay. Uh, it has to be for pay, uh, except for the SEO miss gift, which I'm about to get to, uh, because I have to make sure that this does not get out. If Google catches wind that we're onto this, they could fix this in literally five minutes. It is a weird little 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 uh, quirk that they could fix in five minutes, and so. Uh, I, I don't mean to be that guy who hides the information like that, but I have to make sure you're serious in using it and not just taking the info I give you and then telling Matt Cuts that, that, that we've figured it out. You know, because I don't know who watches these things. You know, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to keep this information secret. Except for, drumroll, your final SEO miss gift is this secret, this knowledge. So the first three people, and only three people, who email me, with SEO Miss Peng Penguin Gift in their title, in the subject of the email, I will give this information to you for free after I talk a little bit with you and figure out who you are and whether or not you're going to just post this on a forum somewhere. Uh, because Google reads all the Black Hat forums, so we cannot let them know we know this. Otherwise, we'll be screwed. So uh, I will share this information with the th next three people, count them, uno, dos, tres, who email me for the SEO miss, the, the ultimate SEO miss gift, the pe penguin gift, I will share it with you for free after we talk a bit and I figure out, just make sure you're not going to go leak it somewhere, either to other black hats to check, is this really true, does it, does it really work, or if you're just going to go tell Google, because either one will tell Google and then they'll just turn it off and it will work for anybody. Um, and it be really good to use for the future too, trust me, you don't want Google catch, finding out that we know about this. Uh, and uh, everyone else, by all means, I can give you the information interested in my regular consulting package uh, where we just do some Q&A and I, we can help, I can set it up for you, we can help you set it up and, and get it going. And I, I'm no, no kidding, it does, uh, it doesn't, uh, you know, delete Penguin from your site, it doesn't remove Penguin, but it's a trick to get it off your back and you can be ranking, again, more or less where you were before uh, for uh, only, in only two or three days. Uh, so I will happily uh, help you do that. Uh, uh, as part of my standard SEO consultation package, or I'll do a full SEO report on your site, which gives you a bunch of uh, extra great information as well. Because most sites I find are hit by both Panda and Penguin, and they don't even know it. They're hit by both, and so this will only take care of Penguin. You'll still have you'll still have Panda as a problem, right? So you got to deal with all of it. So you might as, I might as well do an analysis and fix fix everything for you. Okay, so that is my SEO miss uh, rant for you for 2013. Crazy information about Panda and Penguin. Um, by all means, if you have any questions about that, please contact me. I'll share my email address at the end of the video. And again, uh, happy holidays for yourself. Uh, Merry Christmasica. 
uh, or Festivus or whatever it is you, you practice. And again, if you have any SEO questions, please contact me and uh, we'll get you set up straight. So good luck in the SERPs and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.